Hi, Stabs here. In this video, I want to show you how you can clone a website with the click of a button. The easiest way possible for you to clone any website at all. You don't need to download any software. You don't need to do any hassle. You can get this done literally for free. Also, in this very short tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can easily customize and edit the website and how you can even make it live. So if you're excited about this tutorial already, I think without further ado, let's get started. Let me take you to my screen here where I have this website called dev.app studio.com as usual is a random website is a demo content i want to use this for tutorial purpose so if you come to this page for example if you right click this and you come to the inspect tool you would see that you would have the code for this page here and that's it and the beauty about this is that you can select whatever let's say for example you just want to clone uh, let me use the select tool here just this hero section alone so if you click on this you'll be able to see uh, the code for this section and then you can easily copy and paste that code if you're looking to clone the entire page, you're looking to clone the entire website, you shouldn't even be using the inspect tool in the first place. Uh, let me show you the easiest method for you to get that done. So you can come here, you can right click as usual, and instead of going to the inspect tool, you can just view the page source. It will open this uh, page here where we can easily see all the code of the website this is super super amazing so everything you want to do here is to copy this code into any code editor you're using maybe a notepad or notepad plus plus or you're using dream builder you're using whatever visual code whatever it is you're using is fine but again another online tool you can use here is called code pen so if i come here i can just open this up codepen.io is a fantastic tool yeah i can just easily make a new pen all right, so we can just come back here and then we can just control A this and let's control C this. Uh, just copy and then I can paste that here into the HTML section. And immediately I do that, you can see that I now have uh, this web page here. I can just literally just drag this up so that I can have more view. So you can see the same page I have there is what I now have here. And from here, I can easily save this. Uh, as a zip file and then I can upload to my web server. But the reason I don't really recommend this method is because you don't have much control over what you've just downloaded. And let me show you what I mean by that. So if you come to the page source here, for example, you will see that every asset on that page still link back to the original website. So if you come down here, for example, you can see the menu item is still leading back to this. So any change on the actual website would affect your website and that's what it means because this is not helping us download all the asset locally first before then uploading it so if you want to have full control over all the asset you want to download all the images or the link maybe to your local machine first and then you want to then maybe make edits to the page and then you want to upload you want to customize and upload what I would recommend you do is for you to go to your Chrome uh, store and install a Chrome extension called Resources Saver. So if we come back to this page right now and then we right click this and then we come to inspect tool, for example. Uh, now I can just come here. Uh, I can come down to Resources Saver. You won't have this feature if you have not installed that Chrome extension. So if you save this, you see that this will download every asset on this page right into your computer so we have this done here it's a 2.6 mb and then we can just open up this in our folder and this is it here i can just easily extract this uh, for me to be able to see exactly what we have so that's it so we can see we now have our website here this is the url right now i can just open this up but what you can see additionally now is a wp content and a wp include folder and this is because this is a wordpress website uh if i open this i should be able to see the asset you can see the themes the plugin and all the uploads which will be the images and all of those things so you can see 2023 if i open it you can see all the images right now on that live website and i think this is amazing uh, so right now i can just come back here i can open this link up and then you can see i now have this web page cloned here and i think this is 
super 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 cool i've always recommended a tool called blue griffon for you to edit your html pages like this it's a visual editor it makes it super simple just in case you're a non-techie you don't have any skill coding you can edit this with a brief i have a detailed tutorial that has covered blue griffon you can check the video description and also how you can upload it the live website i have that tutorial in the video description you can check them out and i believe this would come in very handy for you that's it for this and also know that this has only cloned just a page of this not the entire website if you want to clone also maybe other pages of the website you have to visit them and do the same thing and that's literally very simple you can do that within split seconds right so if you come here right now you can see that this uh, menu here is still linking to uh, the live page because we have not cloned them so you can go to the about page for example you can see this will take me to the live page right now and from here we can also use the save uh, the resources saver extension to also download this i have a dedicated playlist to cloning website over 80 green to 90 videos i have done lots of tutorials there and that's it for this tutorial if you find it useful give me a thumbs up if you have any comment whatsoever any issues any clarification you want to seek do let me know in the comment section i'll look out for them i'll see you in another tutorial and until then stay safe